Hey guys, this is Matt. Um, it's the weekend. I'm not doing any work today as far as the handyman business goes. But I did want to make a video kind of, uh, you know, on not necessarily the estimates on this job because I didn't really give him an estimate. I, I told him that it was going to kind of be a flat rate. Um, so anyway, when I started sh making this video series, the whole reason I wanted to make this video series is that I could document what I was doing as far as um, the labor and the actual hands-on, putting nails and boards, type work, but also how I'm going to charge. And, you know, that that's something I struggle with looking around, researching, trying to find out how much to charge people, you know. For, for a long time, I would think, okay, if I'm going to go replace windows, this is what I'm going to this is what I'm going to charge. If I'm going to replace a door, this is what I'm going to charge. If I'm going to paint a room, I'm going to charge $250 per room. But, um, and I may end up doing that in certain situations, um, but I'm going to just lay it all out there, what I did, how much I charged, what the materials cost, and you can agree with it. Um, you, can, you can say I didn't charge enough. You can say I, I, needed, I, need, I charged too much. And I would appreciate that kind of feedback. But anyway, for if for anybody new to this um, line of work that's out there looking for how much should I charge, what should I do, I hope this will help. Um, if there's people out there that have been doing this a lot longer than me that would give me your feedback as well, that that would be great too. So I'd like to have some, I'd like to learn something from this uh, video and hopefully I can help other guys out that may be um, struggling with how much to charge because there, there is a whole different side of the handyman business as far as the business aspect of it. You know, I know a lot of guys that are great carpenters, but they have no idea how to run a business. They don't know how to deal with people. They don't know how to deal with the money part of it. And, you know, in that aspect, as far as the money part, I'm, I'm a little rusty myself, but I am learning and, and, um, that's a good thing. So anyway, on this job, if you've watched my other videos so far, you, you'll you see um, what all I've done over here at this, this one house. Um, but if you but if you hadn't, what I've done is I replaced two windows in this house. This is a, That was a very old house. Um, took a little extra effort, I think. I had to remove some side and stuff like that, but I did replace two windows. Um, I used, um, or I replaced, it ended up being a total of about what they call a square of vinyl side or actually two squares of vinyl side and one box of vinyl side and is two squares um i replaced one pane of glass so i replaced the sash or took the sash out had a had the um, glass ordered and then had them put it in and put it back in so two windows a third window sash and then one window they just wanted painted so i put three coats of paint on that window um, and I also replaced the trim around those, the two windows that I replaced. Um, I replaced a couple more pieces of trim in this house. Um, finished the sheetrock in one small bathroom. And I wired up a uh, dishwasher that took 15 minutes. The wire's right there. I just had to make the wire longer, basically. So, one last time. Two windows replaced. One sash replaced. One window painted. Replaced two squares of vinyl siding um, around the house, um, replaced the trim, the electrical, sheetrock work. So doing all that, what I had in my material cost was roughly $900, just a little bit less, maybe eight eighty dollars in, in uh, material cost. And I had roughly 20 hours involved. So $900 in material, I charged $35 an hour. I'm a, I'm a beginning handyman. I'm still trying to get some business. So I'm a, I'm hoping I can work my way up to $50. If you've watched any of Mr. Fix All's videos, and I'm sure the handyman, he's good. I'm not sure what he charges, but I'm sure those guys can get, get more. And they, they're worth every penny of it. So anyway, $900 in materials. Um, I ended up $700 in my labor for roughly 20 hours. That came to a grand total of $1,600. So $1,600 is what I charge for this job. If, if you want to go back and look at the videos, you can see what I've, what I've done. And like I said, hopefully this will help you out. I would like some feedback. On one hand, I don't know if I charged enough because I was there for a little while, but I, I got $35 an hour, so I'm, I'm happy with it. 
in my introduction video, I said my main goal was to learn this business, um, and I, I knew that I may lose some money. So I, I did learn some things on this um, job um, about vinyl siding, about replacing windows, what to do when I got in a bind. I think I think I ordered that window too, a little too small. So um, I did learn some things. So all of those goals were accomplished. And on top of that, I made 600 bucks. So I don't think I did too bad. Um, but anyway, I would love for anybody that's watching this to give me a thumbs up. I'd like for you to give me your subscription, just like everybody else on YouTube asks. I would like for some feedback, positive or negative, as long as it was constructive criticism, I'm okay with it. I had one guy say I did a terrible job in the bathroom. I can delete that comment, but I chose not to. I mean, that's his opinion, and I'm, I'm glad to have it. Also, if you know anybody that um, is getting into this line of work and this kind of stuff might help them, please share this video. And if you know somebody that likes to educate, that uh, could could um, give some good good information, good feedback, share it with them. Anyway, just want to make this quick video and do my part in helping out, and maybe I'll learn a little bit from it myself. Thanks, guys, and have a good weekend and a good week coming up.